This is the Kionz Digital Light Microscope. So it's just a light microscope. Uh, it's not SEM. Um, the very first thing that you do when you get here is you turn it on. So it's this button right here to turn on. And that's going to um, turn the system on and it takes just a second to boot up. So the, um, again, it's a digital light microscope. There's two different lenses that you can use with this microscope. There's the one that's on here right now. And this one goes between a magnification of 5 all the way up to uh, 40. So this is the low magnification lens. And there's another lens, which I'll show you in a second here, that goes between 100 magnification and 1,000 magnification. So, um, we'll start off with the, um, with the low magnification. So, as soon as we, uh, as soon as it gets booted up here, the, if you want to view an object, you can put it underneath this, this viewing stage uh, here. And when the, as soon as the machine first starts to boot up, as you'll see on the screen here, it just looks very dark. So in order to see your object, you're going to have to do two things. You have to turn on the light, and then you also have to open up the, the shutter inside of the lens here. So uh, the, to turn the light on, there's a little light control knob right here, and that will start to turn on the light, and then you turn on the, the sh open up the shutter here. And so as you'll start to see now on the screen, um, you can start to see that there's objects in there but they're not in focus. So in order to get this in focus, you have to uh, raise or lower the, um, the, the lens. So right now I'm gonna zoom it all the way out to magnification of five, and, that, and I'm gonna try to get this in focus by, well, it looks like I have to raise it a little bit. And until we get it, is that, is that right? So now my object is in focus. If I want to zoom in, now I can change the focus a little bit until I can see. And if I want to move my object, I can either move it here or I can move the stage by turning these knobs. And I can zoom in some more. I zoom, I need to refocus it. And then to see my, my image better, I can start to change the, turn up the light a little bit and uh, open up the shutter and that will change the way that the image looks. So that's how you use the low magnification. Uh, if you want to take a picture, you press this record button and that will save the picture we just took. And you just have to find a folder, like I could go to the Nate folder on here and save it as, uh, you know, Tooth. And press save and that will save. The other thing I can do um, is I can put a scale bar on here. If I want to put a scale bar, I've got to see what magnification. So right now I'm on 40 magnification. I go over to this... Um, button down here that says lens and I find 40 magnification and I select that and if I want to put a scale bar on here I can go up to this measure tool I go to um, scale setting I say uh, I usually want my scales to be a, a, a bar and you got to figure out what how big the the scale is so if you're super zoomed in you don't want you can't have a scale that's a thousand microns but since I'm pretty, I'm not too zoomed in. A uh, thousand micron is is a millimeter, and I can have I can use that as my scale setting. So I press OK, and so now I've got a scale in here that's a thousand microns or a millimeter. And if I want to make a measurement, like if I want to measure how big this uh, tube or this cut is here, I can go to measure, um, main measure, and. Uh, if I want to make this measurement, I can go to two points. I can click here, and click here, and you'll see down here it'll tell me how long that line is. Um, and, and if you want to show the whole screen again, so like I can make other measurements on here, like I can make a measurement of an area. So um, I could go uh, manual, 
I could do a polygon tool, and now I can measure the area of this uh, cut if I wanted to. And so now uh, I've, I've outlined it, and now I just press, um, I think I go into visual measurement, and I click inside of here, and it tells me the area inside of here and the perimeter uh, here. So you can do all this kind of stuff if you, again, remember before you do that, you have to make sure that you select the right lens size. And then also, you want to make sure that there's a little, um, down on this bottom here, there's this second knob, which you really shouldn't turn. You have to make sure that that's lined up. That should never be not lined up. There's no reason not to, to have that lined up, because that will mess you up your measurements. So that's the low magnification lens. Um, let's turn the, we'll turn down the um, shutter and the light and I'll switch out the lenses. So to switch out the lenses, there's a little button here that you press and then you twist this and you can separate. And then you wanna make sure that when you, after you do that, that you put the cover back on it uh, somewhere. Okay. Oh, here's the cover. So I put the cover back on here just to protect it. And then I can put the new lens on. So I've got to line up, line this up, and, and until it clicks. So now I've got the new lens. I can put this on here. And now I tighten it. And now the lighting source for the big lens is a little different. In order to get the light in here, uh, we've got to use this uh, separate light. So this light goes inside of here. That's a little tricky to get this in there, right? So it goes in there like that. And then this end has to go over here. So i got to take this out. And I put this inside of here. So now, now this is set up, and so now I can turn the light on here, and I can um, open up the shutter. And now all I have to do is, again, I, I usually I like to start with the most zoomed out, so 100, and now I just try to make get it in focus. It's harder to get the hundred in focus, but there we've got it in focus, and and everything else is the same with this one. So that's a little introduction to the Keon's uh, microscope, and um, that's it for now.